I take it the snap was from the chair, not my neck. No, oh, I'm A-OK, -okay, boys. A-OK. -okay. It would be best if no one found out about this. Uh, no, I think it would be quite important if someone did, considering that someone both knocked you out and then kept you down here. Can I pick up that pipe? It was clearly... There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. I think it's mine. Hair I really can't afford to lose. <laughs> Can I pick it up? Because clearly this guy's trying to take me I'll out. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. Why would you... Just... Okay. Let's go upstairs. See, if this was me, right, the first thing I would do would be tell the grunt. Because... He's a police officer. Uh, Did they use a pipe? Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. Yeah, we use it as like a lever. Oh. I'm a bitch of a gun. careful. The gunman may still How be you know nearby. Gun? Did he use a gun? Even if he used the gun to hit you, the no, he didn't use the pipe. How do you know it's a gunman? This is foreshadowing. It's going to be shot. Uh-oh. What are you He just sniffed that gun. I wanted to determine whether the gun had been fired recently, Inspector. I mean, what are you doing on the ship? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. Yeah, look at the fucking blow to I my head. I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold, and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Some people are willing to go to it's great lengths like, to be a part of cool. this journey. Indeed. Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. Oh, and they shot at me as well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along, orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would Fuck have off. dreamed up something less painful. Yeah, exactly. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. You know, let me see the see? fucking doctor there. And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. <clears throat> I, I think Legrand doesn't seem that worried about the fact that there is a gunman on the boat that attacked a police officer. And they're at sea. And I, I don't know if Robert's on the ship or not, so he could be the only police officer on the ship. And Legrand's quite nonchalant about it all. He's like, oh, it's a shame. Inspector Legrand and Constable Zelda. <laughs> so so is Captain Mario got the back his front and is about to, like, date rape her? So it would seem. Because she seems not healthy. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm just fine. Yeah, she's yeah, wasted. This is a date rape. The Comte. I'm in control. I she wants to go on top, so. Tell James. Mario's game. He absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Oh, quarter to ten, really? Absolutely. <clears throat> I shall see Excuse that me. he does. And now, I shall return to my Hey, Don't go following that. Oh, I. You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector. If that's what you wish. It will be spectacular. <laughs> oh, I promise. I used to be a pole dancer, you know. I'll show you a thing or two, you young whippersnapper, you Legrand. The fresh sea air, and perhaps a glass of champagne to many. Uh, my champagne's deadly. That makes me puke like a joke. I like champagne Not as well, but voluntarily. If so I drink sense. any number of it. I, I was jumped pearl. from behind. I can drink anything else but champagne. But Maybe it's my no, common roots. That, Maybe I'm just not posh enough to drink it. Doctor, my stomach knows. Him, my stomach full of pot oh, noodles and other microwave please, goods. <laughs> it's like, no, you're, you're not posh enough for this shit. I summoned the doctor. Okay. I apologize, I completely spoke over that cutscene, but I'm pretty sure it's just Mario being weird, so... 
And hopefully I... <laughs> hopefully the jaws didn't break again. I don't, I don't know, like, I like the look of this game, but that seems like quite a game-breaking kind of thing. Our brave Constable Zelna was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, Why is the doctor in, like, navy whites? Tell me exactly what happened. I got jumped, that's exactly what Mario said. I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. <clears throat> Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as mm. our so special guest. Noise. That's, that's a noise Good to know that at least noise. one man I doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. Oh, I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. Oh, that's not Dr. He German. suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it, it is. is but I can. It really hurts. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Didn't anyone come if Legrand was so me. big on getting didn't him, getting that that Zelda off the ship from the cargo in like 10 minutes, we did why didn't he come you, back? But we couldn't find you. Oh, okay. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. Yeah, man. How many fingers do you see? Technically two, two fingers. and a thumb. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? And, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. What fingers? What it's are just fingers? after 8 p.m. You just missed dinner. Oh, damn it. But we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the passengers personally is a tradition I will not break. It's just gonna go down. It's gonna be like a proper Agatha, Agatha right Christie now, kind of thing. The bleeding Who has done it on the boat? And the wound looks good. You may have a mild concussion. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache and an impressive. Well, as long bump. as it bumps impressive. Chicks dig bumps, right? Thanks. Yes, you may have a mild concussion, so get shit faced and fight. Enough about crooks <laughs> and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy your free cruise. <laughs> Inspector! What? A dark shadow. Upper deck, just now. Go, let's have a look. I'll join you. Yes. You Good no, show, you stay um, Zelda. Here. You have a concussion. You want to make You've this just an nicked argument? a glass of champagne that probably went straight to your head because you've probably not eaten in like six hours. And there's now two people with guns on the boat, and you're going to run around with them. Yes, Zelda. Yes. There's a reason you're still a constable at like nine. Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zelda, you're coming to the port side. Which Doctor, you? you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But Baroness von Trebitz. Hello, Baroness von Trebitz. Open the door. All right, Doc. I'm off. Oh no, I'm not going on a manhunt all by myself. Okay. We still have some backup then. I have, to, I have the cute doctor just back up. Again, good music. Yeah. Are you okay? Maybe you had better take a rest in case the blow was more severe. He just looks really okay. out of breath. He doesn't look ill. He just that. Two second walk through those doors. Turner, up here. Come on. I think it came from up there. What tipped you off? Was it the guy saying up here? If it was, then congratulations, you're still better than most protagonists. Sure, you just wanted to get a breath of fresh air. Zelna, look who we have here. Well, if that's not our shadow. And our stowaway. Spend any time hiding in a trunk recently? Uh, me do, do nothing. Nice, he claims nice. to be part of the crew. Just wanted to get some fresh air. Of course. 
The Baroness won't open the door, sir. Understood. Take him to the detention cell, Robert. Happy music, man. Why is he got a green shirt? That's kind of weird. You were right. There was a story. Yes, but he can't be the Raven. He's too young. Right, but that doesn't mean that the Raven isn't lurking here as well. Ooh. What was that? A shot! It came from one of the caverns. Oh no! Baroness von Trebitz? Wait. Baroness! Open the door! Bitch, please. That was really out of time. See, if Zelda did that on the fucking train, I'd be saving like 20 minutes. Step aside, please. We have a murder on our hands, gentlemen. Hurry, Zelna. The murderer still has to be nearby. Oh, shit. I don't think There's <laughs> practically no one on deck. Anyone who's outside is a suspect. This time, we'll get him. Oh. Zelna. Zelna, are you okay? Yes. Come on. We have to. Zelna. Zelna. Merda! I hope Zelda's not dead. That's kind of awkward for the narrative. Is it recess? <laughs> that was completely random. <clears throat> Right. So that's the Baroness dead, so I wonder where she keeps her key. That's my first question, because if someone kills the Baroness, it would probably be to steal the key. So, where's the key? Ah, you're awake. Sleep well, did you? Uh, yeah, I passed out, so it was the best kind of sleep. I don't mean dead. I didn't fall asleep voluntarily. He already doesn't like me. Uh, it doesn't matter. We got along just fine without you. Oh, okay, you want to play like that? That's fine. I didn't pass out last night because of the blow to my head, did I? Seems unlikely. Inspector Legrand thinks you Fucking were... Mario, man. But how? The champagne. Who gave you the glass of champagne? Hmm. It was De Conti. Captain De Conti. I think it was... Was it the doctors before? It should be possible to find traces of the tranquilizer in the glass. That is exactly what Legrand is trying to do. Without a laboratory? Oh, he's got a lab. His cabin is packed with all the latest forensic stuff. Must it's be. quite impressive what the inspector can do. A competent man, no doubt. And surprisingly well prepared. And Indeed. diligent. He's been at it all night with his brushes and tinkers and glasses and everything. <laughs> that Robert is proper possessed. like Dr. Watson oh, getting the, be the raven with now. Sherlock being the good old Robert. Right. Who's the suspect? Have you arrested anyone yet? You mean besides the Arab? He could hardly have committed the murder. He could have killed the bitch. You must have been with him when it happened. We heard the shot on the forecastle. I locked our friend in the detention cell in the cargo hold and then went up to assist Legrand. You were already sleeping the sleep of the just. Anyone else then? Any other suspects? No. Seconds after the alarm went off, the decks were swarming with frightened passengers. Hmm. Yes. A clever way to stay incognito during the commotion. Hmm. But we still have our primary suspect, the Raven. You really think he's returned? Well, I think that no one knows as much about the Raven as Legrand. But still, it all seems so incredible. Hmm. What's the state of play? How was the Baroness killed? Uh, the Baroness was shot in the chest at close range. We'll know more once the doc finishes examining the body in the medical center. And no one saw anything suspicious? <laughs> no one saw a shadowy raven leaving the Baroness's cabin, if that's what you mean. A lot of people heard the gunshot, 
Inspector Legrand wants to question the passengers again this morning once they've all calmed down and he's had a chance to examine the evidence. That's not like a plan. I suppose that you and Legrand inspected the crime scene and the surroundings. Of course. And we already hit the jackpot. The murder weapon. Really? Where did you find it? On the gangway. Oh. The gangway for boarding the ship folds up and hooks onto the hull when it's not being used. The murderer probably wanted to throw the gun into the sea. <laughs> he casually dropped it overboard. What a but muppet. it landed on the gangway. Bad luck. No, that's been fucking But retarded. Legrand and I were on the side deck right after the shot. There was no one there. Hmm. Maybe the murderer threw the gun away later. We recovered it in the early hours. Hmm. I think I'll look for Inspector Legrand now. Mm, do what you think's best. You won't get rid of me. I'm here to stay, Constable Oliver. Be that as it may, Inspector Legrand ordered me to guard the cargo hold with our special guest. That's fine by me. Inspector Legrand may be able to get by without sleep. I don't think that was his line. I think that was maybe, maybe Zellner's line. It's fine by me. It's not easy playing with the big boys, Constable Zellner. No, it certainly isn't. All right, cool. Well, I've been recording for about half an hour, and uh, I already recorded another session before, and um, before this one, when Selner just had to freak the fuck out. <laughs> he just enjoyed the view too much. So that was been an interesting set, to say the least. Um, graphical glitches aside, it's been cool. So I will leave it there for just now. So uh, thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you all there. <laughs>